Hi students hello everyone hope you all are fine and thank you for your continuous support for our online teaching today we are going to discuss one of the important topic from community health nursing that is which is very important and what is that is national health policy so students all of you feel very difficult in remembering the years and uh, uh, days in community health nursing so everything if you remember like a story it will be very easy for, easy for you like now i am going to explain you national health policy so today national health policy we are going to discuss like a story way so how so you 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 divide national health policy into three parts the first part is in 1983 and the second part is in 2002 and the third part is 2015 why i am telling about this three years because you should definitely remember this years why because in 1983 the first national health policy was evolved it was launched by ministry of health and family welfare and government of india in 1983 so the what is the goal of this national health policy 1983 is health for all by 2000 ad so what is the meaning of this is so every individual in our country that means in india every person and every individual should be healthy so based on this objective national health policy 1983 was framed so what happened again but by 2000 ad health for all is not achieved yes or no so we we did not achieve that objective so every individual by 2000 should be free from all the disease so it is difficult task and india it is very difficult task so what happened again in the year 2002 national health policy 2002 was evolved so what is the main objectives of national health policy 2002 is why this national health policy 2002 was evolved because the goal which we kept that in 1983 health for all by 2002 ad is not achieved so again this 2002 evo- national health policy was evolved so there are some objectives of national health policy what are those objectives is that healthcare should be f- made uh, accessibly without any uh, equitable distribution of healthcare should be made this is the first objective and second objective is healthcare should be improved that means whatever the present health facilities are there we have to add some more extra facilities that means adding some more infrastructure to the existing institutes next third one is so we have having some diseases which are creating burden of diseases like aids tuberculosis malaria so these are creating a burden to our indian economy country so what we have to do so by some 2014 this all communicable disease should be eradicated so this is one of the objective and the fourth last one is so we have to use allopathic medicine system to control all this diseases and these are some of the objectives of national health policy 2002 again in what happened so this objectives this aims was not achieved like in by 2005 kala azar malaria should be eliminated by 2007 blindness incident should be reduced by 2010 malaria tuberculosis burden of disease should be increased in the country but this is not at all achieved by india so again national health policy 2015 was evolved so again they have kept the same objectives and again they are working for the same objectives till today so this national health policy what they are saying is it was first framed in 1983 with the objective of health for all by 2000 ad but by 2000 ad health is not achieved by all the individuals in the country so again this national health policy 2002 was evolved again in national health policy 2002 what they said by 2014 so they have kept some aims so again they have not achieved by 2014 and now again in 2015 they have framed the new health policy that is national health policy 2015 so because this 2015 is not at all achieved and it is going on so this many times health policy was framed because not achieving health by all the individuals so i hope you understand the topic in next class we are going to discuss one of the important topic take care be safe